Hi, David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Here's the um, first day on the job site. We're going to be removing this entire side yard, all this concrete. None of it drains. A huge valley. It's even hard to walk on. It's a deep three-inch trough down the middle. And you can see all the water deposits where the water stands for um, a long periods of time. So we're gonna, we've already shown the demo and the pour of the backyard on this property. Now we're going to get into the side yards, the demolition of the side yards, how we get in there and what kind of equipment we use, the entire prep, um, the drainage plan that gets it out of the backyard through the side yards and to the street. we got to cut through that front yard, of course, through the saw to get the drain in. Here's the dumpster going down. We're going to be putting a lot of debris in here. Now right here on the um, existing driveway that they had widened, you can see that they, this concrete where I'm cutting has been added to the original driveway just for more parking. But we're cutting a section of that out which is going to become a planter area along the property line. And it also acts as a place where I can run that new underground um, drain line. I had to cut the concrete anyway so we utilized it and made it a planter rather than cutting and then patching it back in. So we'll just cut it. And first of all I like to cut it with the Medusa because that gets it nice and straight. Once I got a straight line, then I break out the big boy, the 14-incher, and then I drop it all the way in. This concrete came out relatively easy with this particular piece of equipment, of course. If you did that with a sledgehammer, that would be a different story. So this was a fixed gate, zero access. It was a dead end from the backyard, basically. So now that's going to have a gate on there, a vinyl, new vinyl gate. Homeowner's going to install that himself. So on the concrete, we got a three-foot wide skid stir tracks. We got the breaker attachment, and when you get in these little tight areas like this, um, everything's hard about it. Working in a confined area getting old concrete out because it's wedged and there's no expansion felt on either side of the wall Whoever removed the concrete that was previously here before this pad was poured and the reason I know there was concrete before is because On the block wall on all the hollow cells They actually broke holes through the bottom of the block wall trying to remove the old concrete And you'll see that too throughout this video where they actually uh, knocked holes through the uh, block while trying to get the old concrete out and they poured back concrete in, in uh, Into the cells of the wall from the slab. So it made it even harder to get this out of here The elevation was all wrong We're gonna fix all that I Started breaking right at this puddle to try to get some of this water out of here to start with Now if you're into koi, koi fish, um, this kind of be ideal because you have a built-in koi pond. What the tractor does by um, breaking down through the middle, actually a uh, makes it a lot easier to you have a space to break the concrete in from the house and from the wall otherwise just with a jackhammer um, it'd be hard because it's all bound in there So from my experience side yards um, narrow like this are probably the hardest to do out of all concrete work especially you know for your drainage for accessibility and all those things when you factor all that in uh, per square foot side yards are the hardest
So I came up with a nice idea with this little breaker attachment. I'm using that to cut the uh, pipe trench. We ran into some interesting artifacts as we were digging here. We weren't able to uh, determine what they were, but this was originally a big farmland, orange groves. And I think some of these metal things I took out here might have been heating pots, possibly to uh, prevent frost uh, on the oranges. That they had they utilized those sometimes. And they just buried them, and we we found them. That's the paint line for the uh, new drain. That's going to go all the way out here to the back of the sidewalk. Sometimes I'll core them right through and underneath the sidewalk through the curve face. But in this case, we had a lot of slope, so we were able to just daylight it at back of curb. We just did a little floating pop-up lid at the end. So when the water fills up in the pipe, the water will push the floating lid up, and the water will exit and run out. But the water, you would assume, holds water in the bottom pipe to be able to push out. So what you have to do, and what I did in this case, the last 10 feet, as you can see there, I put a pipe sleeve around it, and I used perforated pipe at the very end, just for residual water. It can drain into the dirt. But heavy rainstorms, 90% of the water is going out to the street. That rest 10% or so is going to um, seep into the ground. Now, I didn't really like removing the concrete because it didn't have expansion felt here, so I'm putting it in this time just in case someone has to remove it again, and they won't have to punch holes through the wall getting it out. Also, it does a few other things besides just that. It, it gives it space for the sidewalk to shift around without cracking. Now the way I laid these drains out, which made it really effortlessly, I used the actual, um, you see the columns on the block, those are at about 12 or 15 feet, and I just set my drain at each one of those, and that also is, lines up with my crack control off of each column, so didn't have to use a measuring tape in other words. So this foam wraps the entire house all the way around through the back patio, all the way to the side yard. We got three eighths rebar, uh, two foot centers. And you've probably seen this in the, um, the previous video. This is actually part three of this particular project. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. If you, um, if you really want to see the next one, you can always um, hit the notifications so you'll get notified when we upload the next one. Also, check out my Instagram page, Odell Concrete. We got Facebook, Odell Concrete, TikTok, Odell Concrete. You name the social platform, and it's Odell Concrete. It's real simple. Anyway, have a good one. Talk to you later.